So about an hour ago on the Facebook group DIY Vision Therapy, Jan and um, Tegan Densmore started talking about anisyconia, which is a situation in which one eye sees the world at a different size compared to the other eye. And I just thought to myself, well, I wonder how fast we could implement a measurement a diagnostic for this with the iSkills framework. Uh, actually, it turns out really fast, within an hour. And I think we can do much better than that. So let's take a quick look. Anisyconia measurement. So we can go into this scene. Now. What we're seeing is a picture. We can change it to a simple uh, set of two spheres. So these appear to be fused for me because I'm seeing straight right now. Or I can change them to this image which gives me a set of different things to look at. Now I've selected the right eye to be released. And what I can do now is I can actually change the relative position of that fixation object and I can actually alter two meters, two meters or its three size three by meters away. changing its virtual distance. And this is where I can then, by changing the, the distance of one of those images, find the point at which it overlaps and matches up perfectly with the image in the other eye. So I can three, make it much smaller, meters, much larger, I can then choose away. to switch to the other eye and align that relative to the first one. I can change its distance. Two meter, two, th three, three, three Rather meters fused again away. for me. Four, Perhaps for somebody with this situation, away. it would be here. So we can measure several things at once. We can measure the precisely. We can measure the difference in the relative size of the images that that person perceives, and we can measure any misalignment, eye misalignment angle that's included, which might also not necessarily be an eye misalignment angle, but might actually be. Um, more of an issue with the retina. Now what I notice here, because this has been quickly hacked up in less than an hour, uh, which is only possible because we've built so many components specifically now for strabismus and amblyopia that it's possible to do this, uh, that I ought to be using the headset tracking because all I'm doing to control this is moving my head in a virtual reality headset and using a Bluetooth controller to set the distance. Three meters away. So what I ought to be doing is using the angle four, four of the away. headset to actually shift these pictures rather than rotating the virtual camera because that's introducing perspective issues, but that's a minor point. So this is a bit of a proof of concept. Um, the goal is, uh, in October, to release everything we've been building for the last six months as open source, and it'll be possible with the components we've built to build these kinds of diagnostics and measurement scenes incredibly quickly with very little code because we've done most of the work and componentized everything to make it simple for developers and researchers to build their test environments in iSkills to really push the state of the art forward. That's what we're aiming for. So just a super quick look. Thanks. Monocular suppression. Oh, um, <laughs> and if you'd like to see more, go to iSkills.org. Thanks very much.